Hi, welcome back to this video series on cryptography. Today, I'm going to continue my discussion on quadratic ratio uh, of, co of composite groups. Um, what I'm going to uh, discuss today is how large is the set of quadratic residues? Okay. Um, for example, let's take um, composite number, say, 15, which is made of two primes, five and three, right? What are the elements of C star 15? Um, the elements are uh, one, um, two, three is not, of course, because three shares GCD with 15 is three. Uh, four, okay, five cannot be, um, six cannot be, seven, eight, nine can't, 10 can't, 11, 13, and 14. So if we count these, how many elements do we have? Three, six, eight elements, right? We can, there's also a nice formula we can use. Since 15 has factors five and three, it, it must be same as, um, let me write it here. In general, how many elements are in this set Z and star? Um, it must be P minus one times Q minus one. That's some well-known fact. So if you plug this P to be three, Q to be five, um, you will get uh, two into four, eight elements, which is exactly what we have here. Okay, so the question now is, how about the quadratic residues? Um, how many elements are in, in the set of quadratic residues? Okay, so we can clearly tell all the perfect squares will be part of the quadratic residue because it's power of two. So, for example, in this case, 4 is clearly a quadratic residue because 4 is uh, 2 power 2. Okay. And 1 is also quadratic residue because 1 is 1 power 1. But we also learned in the previous segment that quadratic residues, there are, um, there are multiple occurrences of quadratic residue, right? Uh, meaning um, multiple roots uh, for each uh, quadratic residue. So, not only uh, 4 can be represented as 2 power 2, there must be other way to represent 4 in the set. Okay. For that purpose, it's better to use the computer. So I'm going to show to you uh, Z star 15 and measure how many elements are there and then move on to Z star 21, okay? So let's get going. Um, I'm going to measure that, right? So I will use the little Python program um, and then study that. So from, I wrote, I wrote a little Python that will generate the matrix. Okay, so, this shoe of uh, 15, right? Um, as you can see, the second column shows one and four are quadratic residues because we can represent four as two power two, one as uh, one power one, but there are other ways to represent four. Uh, four can also be represented using seven. Seven power two um, is four, right? Okay. And eight power two is also four in this set because a, a, for example, the 8 power 2 is 64, 64 mod 15 is 4. So in 15 mod I'm talking about, right? This this mod 15. Okay. Um, so another root is 13. 13 square is also 4. We talked about this earlier. All right. And then of course, um, the most trivial one is 2 square is equal to 4. All right. So the same holds for uh, the argument with respect to one, we can see here one, two, three, and of course one square is also one. So there are um, four roots for each element in, 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 in this composite group. Uh, when you have P and Q are distinct primes, odd primes, um, there are theorems that you can uh, um, make use of that, that prove this fact that if, if an element is a quadratic residue, there are four roots for that, okay? But the question now is how many elements have quadratic residues or how many elements are part of the quadratic residues, right? Um, it turned out that in this case of C star 15, we can find out the only two elements, right? One and four, okay. Two elements, right? So there's a notation for this is called quadratic residue. It is basically one comma four. And um, the number of elements in quadratic residue is nothing but two, right? Okay, so that, that's first fact here in this case is two. And the Z star um, 15 is, um, I believe we said eight. So of course, uh, from one example, we cannot easily derive a math relationship, but it's well, it is kind of known that um, the number of elements in the, in the quadratic residue is basically one fourth of the number of elements in uh, the set Z star N in general. So we can confirm this now very briefly with uh, another quadratic residue computation, but let's do it on a different group, right? Let's do it on composite group 21. The elements 
uh, that are of interest for us are part of the um, column number two, right? And uh, we can go here, this column as one, four. So let me write it here for you. One, uh, four, uh, 16. These are the three elements that are part of the second column. So these are the only elements that have quadratic residue. We can easily confirm ourselves. Four is two square, 16 is four square, but four has other roots in this group. For example, five, five square is 25, mod 21 is four, so five. So let's take one, one is simple, right? First, one square, eight square, 13 square, and 20 square. So one has four roots, four has also one, two, three, four roots. 16 also has four roots, one, two, three, four roots. That, that's confirmed, we checked it. But now, now number of elements, here is quadratic residue has, uh, the set one, three, one, four, 16, therefore the number of elements is not, nothing but three, okay. But what about the size of the set uh, Z star 21, okay. So we can count the number of rows here, right? That will tell us how many elements are there or we can use the other formula because we know the factors of 21 are seven and um, three. And that, that means the number of elements in Z star 21 must be, um, what was it? It was P minus one times Q minus one, so P was, if you take P to be uh, three and Q to be seven, right? These are the two distinct primes, uh, odd primes. So we can we can confirm that um, P minus one is uh, two, Q minus one is um, six, right? So two into six is 12, which is exactly what we need um, to confirm the fact that uh, the quadratic residue has one fourth of the elements of the group. So. It may come across as if the number of elements in the quadratic set is too low because it's just one fourth. But think of this way. What if the group um, is not just a tiny group like 21? What if the group is made of a, a gigantic number, right? The size of the group is like two power 2048, okay? Um, or, or n is two power 2040 to be more precise. What if, what if n is like a, a composite number of, 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 of uh, size very, very large, like approximately like this, and this is an even number, it's not a composite necessarily. Uh, I mean, it is a composite, but um, this, is, this is clearly even number. We want P times Q to be odd number, right? Because P and Q are primes, okay. So, um, so I'll take an approximately two power 2040, just for discussion purpose. So what is one fourth of this? Um, let's let's uh, consider this. We do know Z star N is um, P minus one, Q minus one, right? If P and Q are um, approximately the same size, uh, we will be getting the number of elements in this is actually approximately the same as the number of elements um, in, yeah, I'd say like this. It, it's, it's a very, um, 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 approximation is not so precise, but it's okay for our purpose in this case, as n elements. And we are dividing this by four. Why is this still a very, very large number? Because the size of n, you see here, n itself is a very huge number, right? And the number of elements is two power 2048, approximately. So when you divide 20, two power 2048 by four, um, you are getting a very large number. Again, it's approximately two power 20, 46, right? That is a huge number. That means there's still a lot of elements have quadratic residues. Uh, that's basically one of the important things. And how did I approximate Z star N by uh, size of N? Okay, well, it's simple because you can see here, um, Z star N is nothing but uh, P minus, so I wrote this several times, so I'll, I'll just quickly summarize this, right? Is P minus one times Q minus one, right? And if you multiply, uh, and uh, just uh, replace PQ by N because N is PQ, what you will be getting is essentially N minus P minus Q plus one. But think of this way, P and Q are only half the size of N, right? In terms of the, the bit, bit length. So if N is a 20, 48 bit number, right? Um, P and Q will be a 1024 bit number. So if you subtract, um, um, a 2048 bit number uh, from a 1024 bit number, your answer is still a 2048 bit number. Therefore, this is approximately, um, this number of elements in Z star N is still approximately um, 
uh, made of a uh, 2048 bit size number, right? That's a really huge number, which means it's, it's, it's approximately two power 2048. Therefore, uh, if you divide that by, by, by four, um, you still have a, a lot of, um, you still have a, a lot of quadratic residues. Okay, and that's basically my, my point here. Okay, um, the next segment, I will show you how we can map uh, the quadratic residues of composite groups to um, the, the subgroups, um, namely Z star P and the Z star Q. So just to, to compare, um, there are some interesting relationships. Okay, thank you very much.